I'll bring your shit back to you, but I will kick rocks. When I tell you I'm going to kick rocks, if you can't make things right, I'm kicking rocks. I don't give a fuck. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Your name come off my doors. Driver says your name is coming off his doors. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Well, I'm in the process of cleaning this shit off my truck. All the if the stickers and all this bullshit off my truck. Not their truck, my truck. Yeah, see, <clears throat> this is no longer, no longer dispatched by Delta. No longer. Anytime you give me a load during the winter time for seventy four hundred dollars, eight thousand dollars in the unsafe weather. And you're gonna tell me multiple times that they're not paying like that. Really? So the money coming out, but who's the hell getting it? You're not giving it to the driver? I kick rocks. I don't bullshit. I don't need that shit. My shit. My shit. Your name come off my doors. I kick rocks. I don't have that, that to do. You know, the funny part about it is if during the winter time I get paid $7,400, to go 380 miles round trip for 74, I go 1,700 miles for 8,000 because of the weather. And then I'm going to get back to come back from Las Vegas to Chicago for $3,600. Through the bad weather. But you know what? I don't leave people's equipment on the road. I don't do that. I'll bring your shit back to you, but I will kick rocks. When I tell you I'm going to kick rocks, if you can't make things right, I'm kicking rocks. I don't give a fuck. I got to Chicago. They're going to tell me, hey, we got another load going back over there to Las Vegas for $4,000 from Chicago. Bitches, you stupid. I just bought $3,600 load back from Chicago, uh, from Las Vegas so I can get to your destination to get your shit. Don't think that I'm going to go back across that snow and ice for $4,000 when I know I just did 1,800 miles for 8000 and you're going to give me 4000 So who the fuck going to keep the rest of the money? Not you, because guess what? I'm not doing it. Kick rocks, motherfucker. You. Do them loads. Y'all don't understand. Them brokers is fucking y'all raw. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So mm, mm, mm. mm, mm, mm. Y'all hear that, right? Y'all hear that, drivers? Old school over here is telling them that he's taking the name off the door because they ain't even treating him right with the money. They messing up the money, y'all. They giving this man four thousand dollars on an eight thousand dollar load who's getting the money who's keeping the money see when you new drivers get into this industry y'all drive for a couple of months and then y'all decide to jump over to the other side and then y'all start doing loads that's that's paying cheap but guys like this knows that it should be paying more. See, they getting over on you new drivers because they know that you guys are going to take any and everything because y'all trying to get your name out there. They're messing up the game. That's what old school is saying. He's not doing it. He's kicking the rocks. He kicked them rots straight back to Las Vegas to where he came from. He said, bump all that, man. I'm not doing it. I just did a load 
for this amount and you're going to give me another load about the same miles for a lower amount see drivers y'all gotta understand when y'all get out here and y'all want to go ahead and call yourself that y'all making money and y'all telling everybody that it's money to be made we don't need to be listening to you we need to be listening to old school right here see these old school drivers going to tell you how it is but see y'all think y'all know so much y'all don't want to be bothered with these old school drivers and it's the same thing with these new school brokers because they know they know they know how to catch you you out there riding you thirsty you're hungry we're going to give you about three four thousand dollars to get in to a certain state knowing that you're going to get about a thousand fifteen hundred to get out of the state then you have to drive two states over to get a good load to get you out but you got to get a load to get you to that good load state you see it's a good thing that i'm a company driver i don't have to worry about all of that i do get paid good so i'm again don't have to worry about all of that but i'm telling you if i was a owner operator i would be upset i would be upset if i had the deadhead six hours to a state just to get a good paying load yeah yeah I, i'll be pissed off i'll be pissed off so new drivers that's thinking about going owner operator and y'all and y'all trying to you know take note from these quote unquote dispatchers on you i mean dispatchers on instagram and these so-called uh 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 fly by night pay me a thousand dollars so i could teach you how to dispatch uh social media people yeah <laughs> yeah get back to the recruiter call channel and let me know how that worked out for you drivers that's my thoughts tell me yours in the comments below